Well, we have a spotty severe weather threat continuing today and tomorrow across parts of the midsection of the nation. With that comes some locally heavy rain chances, but we are going to continue to see a pretty warm weather outlook. Yesterday, we made it into the mid-80s in Minneapolis, made it to 91 in Milwaukee, Chicago. We had a hot day there yesterday at 94. The warmest temperature was in Kansas City at 97. Temperatures there and generally throughout the Midwest and the Ohio Valley, anywhere from 5 to almost 10 or 15 degrees above average. We also picked up some locally heavy rain Sioux Falls, about an inch of rain there. Des Moines, not quite as much at two one hundredths of an inch. And some severe weather popped up yesterday through Iowa and northern Illinois. We also had some severe weather across the Arrowhead of Minnesota and around the uh, Lake Superior region. Now, our forecast peak heat index today will still be quite warm the, as you head farther south. We're looking at 90s and triple digits, but feeling uh, kind of cool in International Falls today north of that front. So from the severe weather concerns here, uh, from the Great Lakes all the way to the front range of the Rockies, we have a couple of slight risk areas, large hail damaging winds, isolated tornadoes, and then the threat does shift just a little bit farther south on Tuesday. Uh, but again, just some spotty stuff as you get a little bit closer to the Great Lakes region. So with these thunderstorms, again, large hail damaging winds, isolated tornadoes, maybe a few thunderstorms trying to drift into southwestern Minnesota as we get into our overnight hours and into early Tuesday. But where those thunderstorms develop, look for some locally heavy pockets of rain. As I mentioned today, the farther north you get, it will be cooler.